tomorrow is, is the big day, like. <laughs> what is going on you guys it is now tuesday it is actually october 1st and the year is going by so fast the year and this pregnancy okay anyway um we got some news yesterday we have a date for me to be induced so that is happening very very soon i'm very excited about that um, i cannot wait to meet my daughter i cannot wait to uh, be able to sleep through the night. I know that with a newborn, it's going to be very hard. But what I am saying is sleeping through the night without like indigestion, a heartburn. Oh my gosh. This last month, maybe month and a half has been the worst in just the heartburn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't really experience this with Hunter. But from what I've heard, if your baby has a lot of hair, that could mean a lot of uh, heartburn. And every time I go to a ultrasound, they always tell me that, that Miss Ava has a head of hair, okay? So the rumors might be true. <laughs> the rumors might be true. We had a appointment today. We had three actually. So we had the uh, ultrasound, we had an NST. Oh, she's moving around right now. And then we had a provider visit. The NST didn't go too great. I was on the machine or was hooked up to the machine for about an hour and a half. So the doctor was a little worried about that. Um, she said she could either send me to the hospital or schedule another NST for tomorrow. So <clears throat> that's what I opted for. So I'll be going again for another appointment tomorrow. And then I also have one on Friday. So we're gonna just monitor her and see how everything is going. Um, and that's basically it, I wanna say for right now. Yeah, I wanted to check in because I haven't done so in quite some time. I have so many vlogs. I have like four vlogs I need to edit. I know I keep saying this, but your girl is just, I feel tired, y'all. I'm tired. I haven't even really posted anything new on our Etsy shop in the last, what, two weeks? And for me, that's a little different because I have been so gun ho about our Etsy shop. It is still doing really well. So I wanna thank everybody who has um, bought something from me from our Etsy shop. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, other than that, your girl is just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. But I wanted to check in uh, to keep this type of like diary going because like with Hunter, I would love to look back and see, see these videos and see how I was feeling and stuff like that. Cause I, I honestly, I do. I go back to my previous videos with um, Hunter when I was pregnant with Hunter and I'm like, oh, I didn't remember that. That happened. Um, so yeah, this is just a great way to document what is going on, even though just like Mr. Huntsman had some issues. They, he was scaring me. This one is too now. I don't like that. I don't like it. But yeah, with that, we are going to take a little bit of a break. And I'm going to lay down for maybe 30 minutes. And yeah, I'll check in. Maybe not today, but I'll check in at some point. <laughs> Another hospital visit. <laughs> Miss Ava's giving us hella problems already. I don't know. The girls might be a little bit harder than boys. You know what I'm saying? Happy Friday. Um, it has been an eventful Friday for us. <laughs> Considering uh, we had a, another NST today. We had, this is our third one this week actually. And we were sent back to the hospital due to Ava's, her heart rate had dropped again. And they just wanted to monitor her to see if she was okay. Went to the hospital. We didn't stay that long, maybe three, three and a half hours. And let me just say that Hunter was a champ at the hospital. We did, you know what I'm saying? We did come home and get some stuff for Hunter because we live literally across the street from the hospital. 
Um, so we did come home, get something to eat for him so he would have something to eat. We got his iPad and stuff like that so he would have something to play with. I came and got my hospital bag just in case we were going to deliver today. But all that to say, we didn't deliver today, but the plan has changed. So we were supposed to deliver Ava at 38 weeks. But due to the protein that they found um, in the labs, I had protein in my urine. I have preeclampsia. Um, I'm contracting a lot. So they are going to deliver her next week, which is just a couple days away. <laughs> um, so at 37 weeks. Today is Friday. On Monday, I will be 37 weeks. Um, they're going to give me a phone call on Monday and schedule my induction, my new induction date. So this is going to be an adventure. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't, I don't know that I'm ready. I'm a little scared. I am just not fully prepared for what is about to happen, I guess. I had fixed my mind to deliver her at 38 weeks. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been sent to the hospital twice. And I don't know, I just feel like, I just feel overwhelmed, I guess I should say. But I need to keep it calm. I need to just take it easy for the next couple of days. And if anything changes, um, I'll call the hospital, I'll call my physician and, you know, go into labor and delivery and possibly deliver her even before uh, next week. So just an update on that, <laughs> which is crazy. But on a good note, my cousin delivered her baby two days ago. He is a beautiful baby boy. Uh, my cousin Jennifer. If you have been watching my channel for a long time, you've met Jennifer uh, quite some time ago. Quite some time ago. This is her first baby. And, oh, she's so cute. She's currently, I believe she's in Chicago, though. So, we won't be able to meet the new bundle of joy until probably a little bit later on. Because I'm sure she doesn't want to you know, fly with him, but I can't wait to meet my new baby cousin. And for the cousins, baby cousins to meet. But anywho, um, Josh just went to get us something to eat. We have not eaten anything oh, other than Hunter, Hunter ate. Um, but me and Josh haven't eaten anything. And yeah, as soon as he comes home with that food, we're gonna take it down and yeah. Have a good day tomorrow. Happy, it's Tuesday now. <laughs> it is October 8th, actually, yeah. I mean, the last time we spoke was on Friday um, after I got back from the hospital. So a little bit of an update because I have not been vlogging really. I've just been really trying to keep my body rested and trying to keep my blood pressure low. So. Over the, excuse me, over the um, over the weekend, Josh really did help out. He started our meal prepping and everything so that when Ava gets here, we or he does not have to cook. So over the weekend, he um, prepped a whole lot of uh, crock pot meals and other meals and put them into the freezer. So all we have to do is either warm it up or put it in the crock pot and set it, forget it, and boom, there we go. Um, he helped me clean up uh, as well. He did a lot of stuff down here. He took the cushions off of the couch, even though Duke is back on the couch. Washed those. Um, really had everything prepped and, and cleaned up for us. He cleaned the kitchen. Um, it's been a couple days, so the table looks like it has stuff on it, which it does, but I still have to pack some of the stuff that's on the table. Oh, we got a pizza oven. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but we have to find a table to put it outside. 
it's extremely heavy it's like 90 pounds but anyway i'm going off course while he was doing that i was in the bed resting um i had to go to my mom's house to get her uh blood pressure cut because for some reason every time i use mine it's saying that my blood pressure is extremely high so i know that it needs to be calibrated but the first time I used it, I did my breath blood pressure like five, six, seven times and it was high. And I was like, okay, um, something is going on. So I was, and that was because I was doing what I wasn't supposed to be doing. I was upstairs cleaning and trying to get last minute things out of the way. Um, so I just decided to lay down. And when I did that, my blood pressure went down and it was back to normal. So after that, I stayed in the bed literally the entire weekend. And then yesterday, of course, I had to work, but I didn't do too much uh, working. I just tried to get my, my last minute things out of the way for my job so that everything was in order before I left. I didn't have too many meetings. I just had a couple, which was good on me. So my day was not as busy as I uh, anticipated. And then today I'm going, I'm going to do a couple more things, get with my team again, because I had a meeting with them yesterday. And then I have a doctor's appointment at one. And tomorrow is the big day. <laughs> I'm so nervous, you guys. I am, I don't know, my stomach is in knots. My heart is racing, which is not good because I'm working myself up. Um, but tomorrow is, is the big day like they're gonna ripen me tomorrow uh, They did check my cervix on Friday and it was completely closed. So we have to go through with the ripening um, and then after that they're gonna start the induction and Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be you know crazy so yeah, we are having miss Ava at 37 weeks and I am excited we are all excited Hunter's excited, Josh is excited, my, my parents, Josh's parents, <laughs> excuse me, we are all excited to have her here and hopefully everything goes well because <laughs> you know how that goes, like, even last time I was telling you guys like my mind just goes in so many different directions and I'm like this could happen, that could happen, that could happen, this could happen and I'm just out here working myself up for nothing so. Miss Ava, we're ready for you, girl. And I cannot wait to see you. All right, you guys. It's the next day. We went to my appointment yesterday. My last one, two, three, four appointments, actually. I had an ultrasound. had an NST. I had a provider visit. And then I had an appointment with the hospital coordinator so I could, find, so I could sign some paperwork. It all went good. And now... I'm just waiting to go into the hospital. I got a call at around five to see if my, uh, my placement is still available at 5.30. In the meantime, it's just gonna be me and Hunter until Josh gets off around 12, 12.30. And we're gonna just hang out, just me and him, and relishing it just being <laughs> him, <laughs> him being the only baby, only child. So we're gonna watch some movies. Right now we're watching Cat in the Hat. I'm gonna make some um, cookies and we're just gonna make the most of our last day, basically, of him being the only child. <laughs> and this feels so crazy. It really does. Um, he's actually not gonna go to the hospital with us today because I'm gonna start my ripening at 5.30, hopefully. Um, and last time it took forever, if you can remember. So. Um, mom's gonna stay over here tonight. Josh is gonna pick him up tomorrow morning around 7 in the morning and then he'll be with us and hopefully we'll have Ava tomorrow. So with that being said, I'm gonna close out this video and have fun with Mr. Hunterman and yeah, just enjoy our last few moments of us being just us.